welcome back to the Be Jones Style channel. I'm so excited today because we're doing a little bit of a combo. We're going to take the idea of thrifting trends, also inspired by the runway, and mash it all together. It's a mashup! If I had to break it down to a simple title, I would call this five things to thrift right now. Before we jump in to all of that goodness, I just wanna share our sponsor for today's video, which is Native Deodorant. I've been using Native for an entire year now, and you know when you kind of have that thing that becomes your thing, and it's just part of your daily routine. It's even like a little bit of a simple pleasure. That's what Native has become for me. And they just released a plastic-free version of their deodorant. It's 0% plastic. It's made 100% of paperboard sourced from responsibly managed forests. The customers have been asking for this and they have actually been working on this for the last two years and are so excited to finally be able to release this plastic-free packaging for me and you. And they're committed to 1% of the plastic-free sales going towards environmental nonprofits. I love the texture of Native. It's not sticky. It dries quickly and it's great for me while I'm on the go all day. I love the scents. They are really long wearing. I can even work out and still smell fresh. And I always appreciate their really wide range of choices to pick from. With their plastic free packaging, I actually went back to some of my favorite scents. I chose the coconut and vanilla. It just has a really fresh beachy scent to it. Cucumber and mint, which just has this like pop of a smell. And then lavender and rose basically just feels like you're in a spot. It smells that good. And they've even added seasonal scents with candy cane and sugar cookie. Their ingredients are sulfate free, paraben free, and aluminum free. And everything in the ingredients is stuff you're familiar with and is clean like coconut and shea butter. And they're vegan and cruelty free. They also have free shipping to anywhere in the U.S. And three plastic free deodorants are usually $39 but if you use my link below and my code BJones4, you get those three plastic free deodorants for $29, which is 25% off your order. Now we are ready to jump in to the heart of this video. Like I mentioned, this is going to be a little bit of a mashup of trends, thrift haul, and inspired by the runway. I gave you guys the trends last month. I broke down all the fall trends, but I think there are five things that you should be keeping your eye out for in the thrift stores or online as you search all of these amazing vintage shops. Five things that I just feel like are great and you need them and they're fun. And also it's kind of like you're on a who, what, where .com or your style.com or one of these fashion websites and they've got the article about like five things to buy right now. And instead of suggesting things online, I'm just gonna suggest things that you should look for while you're thrifting in person or thrifting online. And the fun thing is I have actually found all of these pieces and I'm gonna show you the version of the piece that I found, then try them on. And I thought it would be kind of fun to just give them all a little bit of the Gucci spin. I got dressed today and ended up in a very Gucci look and I just thought, why not? Let's take all of these five pieces and give them the Gucci magic. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Do you like it? Do you like it like this? Are you ready? Sorry, I used to be a cheerleader. I'm gonna break down those five things. Let's do it. Keep your eye out for checkerboard print. We've been seeing it everywhere. I love it in lots of different colors, but if you need to find one, it's going to be the black and white checkerboard. I actually found this polo shirt with a checkerboard print collar. It's such a fun way to tease the trend and also work the polo shirt trend. With Gucci, it's more is more is more, and so I did lots of layering. I did the checkerboard, polo shirt over a printed turtleneck. For the athleisure, I threw on my husband's old baseball jacket from when he was a kid. I thought it would then be fun to tease out the black and white with more black and white. So I did these really great black and white trouser pants. Definitely wanted more color. So I threw on some red socks with some green and red sneakers. The toppers were a great baseball cap from the 80s. My aviator glasses, of course. My Gucci clutch. 
merch. And Gucci's doing a ton of gold chains over everything. And so I loved the idea of taking this gold chain and just throwing it over all of the layers. So that is the first thing that you should be looking for with Gucci magic thrown in. Something else that I mentioned in my fall trends video is the idea of the colorful check. Found this plaid skirt with a bright ruby red running through the gray wool skirt. So much fun to take something very classic but play with the colors in the colorful checked print. Giving it lots of Gucci goodness in this outfit. I pulled out this amazing disco collar peach blouse and then I threw over this really fun little knit sweater vest which is a little more shrunken and much more 70s style and then once I had that on I knew I wanted to throw on this really great brocade blazer it fits more tailored and snug and I love how the colors kind of match the colors that are going on in the skirt and then it's all about accessories and so we did really fun starburst pearl earrings I did my very fun over-the-top 70s sunglasses I did my lace that black boot. Normally I would throw on socks and loafers with this look, but I loved having a really tall boot with the skirt. Finally, just a little bit of a horn necklace to kind of add some 70s glamour to it. Grabbed my Gucci bag and I was good to go. Can I say two things? Chocolate brown and leather. Really, if you can find chocolate brown leather or just leather or just chocolate brown, I happen to find this amazing pair of brown leather pants and I covered two trends in one item. I'm taking the chocolate brown leather pants and I'm giving it all the Gucci goodness with my tiger robe. And I thought it would be fun to add some pops of color with this really great yellow turtleneck that's got orange and white in it. I loved how it pulled the orange out of the orange and the tigers. I wanted something to kind of ground the look, so I added this really great men's vest. And I just did all the things. I added the printed socks. I added the loafers with the chain detail. I did simple little pearl earrings, but just piled on tons of jewelry. And my big fun sunnies, my crochet bag, and I was good to go. We've entered sweater weather season. I think something you should add to your closet is an oversized, really fun printed sweater. You could go bright and bold or something a little more classic. Go for a fun oversized sweater this season. Taking the oversized crazy fun sweater, I styled it up very Gucci menswear. I loved the idea of pairing it with black leather Bermuda shorts. I did lots of extra layering. I threw the sweater over a tropical print disco collared shirt. Winter in the tropics, why not? And then keeping with that idea, I threw on big chunky platform sandals and then I did a sock with the sandal. And then accessorized it up. I threw on this really fun beaded headband, colorful dingle dangle earring, yellow shades, and then winterized it with this big oversized puffer coat. And lastly, I love a great men's button down, but I realized I really didn't have that many in my closet. So find a great men's button down. It's so essential this season and it's honestly so easy to find. The menswear button down is so essential. I actually think any season. Giving it the Gucci treatment, it was all about kind of making it this menswear grunge 90s spin, whatever that is. First started with the menswear button down and then I thought it would be so much fun to add another sweater vest and so I did more of a classic buttoned sweater vest. I wanted to do one denim look, so I threw on these really great grungy 90s 501s that are worn and torn. Then I've got to add some quirky elements. So I thought a fun sparkly orange sock with a red square toed heel. Added some school girl elements. I added a beret. I added some aviator sunglasses. I grabbed my Gucci clutch. And then my final little piece of the resistance was throwing on this incredible houndstooth blazer that to me just sent the whole look over the edge. And that is it. Those are the five things that I think you should keep your eye out for this month. And also a few different outfit ideas. Of course, fun and created with a little bit of Gucci magic. If you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't I have new videos every single Thursday and finally always play dress up and I'll see you guys later bye